Hello everybody and welcome back to the DCAC channel where in this uh, series we try to solve lead code questions and just technical interview questions uh, preparing for technical interviews and kind of like learning to work with Python so if you're into learning Python I think this would be also pretty useful for you detect capital let's see 520 detect capital given a word you need to judge whether the usage of capitals is uh, in its right or not. We define the usage of capitals in a word to be right when one of the following cases holds. So um, whenever you, you see something like that, and this could also be, for example, a business requirement. Um, for example, somebody wrote this in a ticket. And for you, what's kind of interesting is that basically all the cases are listed, right? So you can basically kind of separate them in your code the same way, um, hopefully. Usually it's the case uh, here at lead code, you get more kind of like logical issues or more, maybe not exactly the same, but um, this is something that is definitely worth kind of like thinking about and just knowing. So what are the three uh, following cases? All letters of the word are capitals like USA. All letters in the word are not capitals like lead code. Only the first letter of the word in the word is capital like Google. Otherwise, we define that this word doesn't use capitals in the right way. And like we said, um, okay, note the input. So like we said, just just applying those three cases, in theory, we should be good to go. Note, the input will uh, be non-empty, a non-empty word consisting of uppercase and lowercase Latin letters. That is good to know. Uh, I'm pretty sure there should be something about, um, for example, uppercase, yeah? Something that, that can work with uppercase and lowercase. Um, character is uppercase. Even just one of those should should work. Is upper. I'll check character is uppercase. Easy, I guess. Um, is upper, yes. All right. Uh, do we want to do more than that? I mean, we could probably even work with uh, some, there's probably some, some fancier method that would even give us uh, something even shorter. But even, even just that, how can we separate those three cases into, uh, yeah, into three code blocks basically, or code cases. Now, the first thing we can notice is that the first letter could be either uppercase or lowercase, right? And if the first letter is lowercase, all of them should be lowercase. And we can code that. Um, and in this case, if the first and the second are uppercase, all of them should be uppercase. And in this case, if the first, uh, yeah, basically when you have those Called it. This is the else condition because this is the only other case where you could have uh, could have a valid word uh, capital capitalized properly, and you would basically just go. Okay, I know the first one should be uppercase, and all of the other ones should be lowercase. That is all. And now uh, an interesting thing is that, uh, for example, a single case. So basically. If we know that the length of word is basically one, we can just return true because it doesn't it doesn't matter, right? It could it could be either this case or this case, and let's just test it just for fun. No other, yeah, no other uh, constraints. Okay, so we know this works. A few moments later. And this also kind of teaches about unit testing, right? It's, it's basically kind of like a unit test. Uh, basically, we have test cases here. And we see everything is accepted. Um, something with runtime, not the best, but uh, probably we can do something about it. Uh, for example, probably something like 
Python 2 uppercase upper lower let's see okay the upper method returns the upper case string let's quickly compare them um, let's print lead equals lead uh, we can even try something else but I want to try it like that now uh, and now we compare it when they are basically different right so what we can do here we can just scrap that it's 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 okay <laughs> Um, we can return for the first case for example we say word upper right so if we convert our word to upper and we know it's exactly the same as the word uh, this would give us true because um, uh, I'm thinking about the different cases <laughs> because we know this one would actually require lower um, let's let's have it like that um, if this is this return true if word lower equals word also return true this is basically the second case right if we convert our lead code word to lowercase it will basically be the same but if there was something uh, if there was uh, a single character here that was uh, bigger or even somewhere else it would be a problem uh, and the, the last one is if for example the first character is upper and uh, the word from the first character onwards lower case is equal to the word but the first character and the rest right and basically just looking at this one for lower cases and this one we just say okay this just has to be an uppercase for our third scenario return true otherwise return false and this should definitely be the whole algorithm uh, as you can see, the cases so far all work. Let's put the uh, was it Google? Uh, did I write something weirdly? All right. Um, this is definitely an e easy question, but it kind of teaches a couple of stuff. Like I said. You can space your requirements into separate mini projects basically and just work on first one or work on some that you kind of feel is the best to work on firstly or just you feel some some of them is just something that's appealing to you work on that make that uh, working make that as a feature basically right that this feature you can later on combine with the other ones second thing is yeah i wrote the algorithm i could have left it like that that the way I wrote it firstly I didn't like I was like okay this this can be way simpler and just scrapped it wrote it the simpler way uh, if you notice it it is really simpler and it just uh, doesn't really bring more problems with it or some weird problems with it you can just leave it if not you can kind of revert uh, but don't really hang on to the code so yeah this is it runtime complexity space time complexity I think are pretty <laughs> pretty um, how to say pretty clear I guess I don't know like we are not saving anything uh, for space-time complexity I wouldn't even understand why this would be an issue maybe maybe people got around um, um, I mean here probably you are you are saving a copy of the word but then it's thrown away so it's not like it's also constant uh, it's basically n in the size of uh, the word itself so it's not like we are doing something uh, crazy with with uh, memory and runtime again this operation probably goes over the whole word and then we just compare a single operation probably 
on bit bit uh, level it's probably a couple of operations so it, it, there is nothing that scales with the size of our word other than this comparison but this is also linear time probably so again we should be very fast and we should be uh, memory efficient that was it for me i think um if you if you are into learning python just practicing um watch uh, you can watch these videos i i would hope that you can learn something from that and um also just if you want to uh, practice for interviews i guess uh, this could also be useful just seeing other other people's uh, perspectives and how they think about these problems so yeah if you like that uh, consider subscribing and i'll see you next time bye bye